Good. And Mick, how confident are you for keeping your title tomorrow? I'm quite confident. Yeah, actually I was first a little bit disappointed after Flash. But in the end I uh, I think um, no, I think I'm in a good shape actually and um, I should not do be disappointed. Also when I saw that the riders that were in the break on the second time on the Muur de Hoei with me, they end up all a little bit in my uh, classifications. So maybe uh, yeah, that uh, did not help us to go there on the last time Muur. Uh, and um, it, it's also a race that suits me better. So uh, mm. but for all the spring, this is the this is the one that suits me the best. Tomorrow we have 3,000 uh, meters of elevation. Yes. That's also something that's good for me. So um, and I uh, have a really strong teammates. That's also something new uh, mm. for me. All the years I was always alone in the final, and uh, now for sure it's a reduced group. I have will, be, will be there for sure, but at least with two. Mm. Will you use the same strategy uh, in the team, like you attacking first and uh, li li Lian? Uh, keeping uh, keep, keeping uh, her energy for the final. Uh, of course, I'm going to not go away here the strategy we have, but uh, yeah, I think Liam is quite fast also on the finish, so it makes more sense to save her a little bit more. Mm. And what kind of race do what kind of race do you expect for tomorrow? A aggressive race because uh, I think also there is a lot of teams with a plan, and which is also good for women cycling that uh, more and more teams are starting with a plan which will make the race hard. Uh, for sure also expect track, for example, uh, with a good plan, have a good lineup here to, to make that race hard. Mm. And um, yeah, I think uh, it's important that we have an exciting race. Thank you. Uh, we just have a request.